Hey guys, John here with Vapor Honing Technologies. Today we are stripping paint from a rear motorcycle swing arm here. And we're almost done. I just wanted to film the last segment for you and show you how we can remove paint uh, from steel components such as this. Um, you can see the other part's already done. Um, you might notice a little brownish tint kind of over here. Um, that's surface rust. And that's what happens when you don't put a corrosion inhibitor in the water. You're going to get some light browning, um, some light surface rust there on the part. Not very concerned about this piece, obviously. That's why we don't have it in this machine. And this is an open loop machine, meaning that we're not recycling the water um, for rinsing off the parts. So, uh, again, open loop machine. We don't have it in here. We would just be wasting it when the machine dumps the excess water that we put in it. And we're going to be painting this part fairly quickly. So, it's not going to sit here. Um, if your parts are going to sit for a very long time on the shelf, it might behoove you to put a rust inhibitor in the water and run a closed loop system. And uh, that would be the best for something like this if you're going to leave this setting for a while. So again, we're going to get started. We're going to show you how quickly this is um, and how quick and easy and dust free this is to remove this. So stay tuned. guys we're back after the blasting work has been done here and you can just see how nice and clean this part is we even exposed a few holes that we didn't know we had so we got to weld those up there's another one but this process is excellent at getting in all the tight spaces around all the welds so you can clean the part up thoroughly and then go to paint um, can't tell you how quick and easy something like this is. This was a 20 minute job uh, start to finish and you get an incredibly prepped and clean surface so that you have good good coating adhesion because when painting parts it's all about the surface roughness and how clean the part is. So you want a good surface rough or a surface roughness a good anchoring profile so that the paint can adhere to and you also want a clean oil free grease free product so that you can paint and it adheres very well if you guys need help please let us know give us a call shoot us an email uh, we're here and uh, please like the video subscribe share it with your friends thanks for watching